The new Virtue has dropped as drip feed content from the LS Drug Wars DLC. So what's it really like? Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. A new week and some more drip feed content from Rockstar with the latest offering from Ocelot, The Virtue. An absolutely bananas electric supercar that is absolutely in no way to be mistaken for a Lotus Evia. So this nutty machine is available from Legendary Motorsport at an eye-watering 2,980,000. It can be picked up for a trade price of 2,235,000, although I'm not 100% on what that entails at the time of recording. The Ocelot Virtue is a two-seater, all-wheel drive electric supercar that according to the game files should top out at 100 mile an hour or around 160 k's. I quite enjoy zipping around the map in electric cars. The coil was always one of my favourite vehicles in story mode back on the 360 and the new electric vehicles are always a welcome sight. So I'm going for a classic privateer track build here. Aerials to start with, bumpers all have the standard splitters and aero options which are complemented by the canards. Liveries next and some really interesting motifs and half body wraps and some very very bright highlights half body wrap this time mirrors are mirrors a couple of standard roof scoop options skirt to next again race focused complementing the splitters and canards and standard supercar spoilers dump it and black cheetah rrs and finally onto the paint shop we'll go with black on candy red with a silver pearl overlay and black steel interior trim handling wise it's really sticky goes round corners like it's on rails being an electric car it also also snaps your neck on the takeoff. It's reasonably quick. It's not the fastest car in the game, but given your backside is two inches off the tarmac, it feels fast, if that makes any sense. Stops on a dime too. On the engine, it's electric, so it sounds like an overgrown sewing machine. Not much else to it, really. So what do we think? I like it. It handles well, it has a reasonable amount of customization, and the low-down torque that comes from the electric engines is pretty good. But nearly 3 million, even at the trade price of 2.2, that's still pretty brutal. I mean, it's yet another supercar, and there's plenty of them in the game. It's got a nice aesthetic though, and it sits well. If you're into supercars, you could definitely do worse. We've not had any word at the time of recording on whether this is going to be a time release like the Panthera or the 300R, so if you are going to get it, make sure it's this week. And that's it for the assessment of GT GTA Online's new Ocelot Virtue. Check out the link top right for the Release Week GTA Online Buyer's Guide or the one down the bottom for a bit of a money guide. In the meantime, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.